Here come the Wildcats. The Gators are heavily favored to win this game. Kirk, do you think they'll have any problems today at all? Florida is anchored up front on defense by one of the best tackles in the nation. His ability to disrupt things drives coaches crazy, and I think he'll dominate again today in a big win. All right, here you go, kids. If you're not a Gator fan, then you are Gator bait. Florida, Florida is ready to open this one up as they line up for the, the opening game. kick. Here's the kick. Summers has it at the five. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, guys, arguably the best football player on the field today is this kid at linebacker. Brad, even if he isn't the best, I'll say this. He'll have a bigger impact on this game than anyone else on the field. He fires up his teammates, and they look to him to control the running game. Let me add to this. When this guy's on his game, he's a tough player to block. If he has a good game, then this defense will not allow many points at all today. Second so it's and second ten. and ten. at the 28. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. Third and 10. ten. Ball on their own 28-yard 20 line. Five DBs on the field. Russell drops back. Under heavy pressure. Russell gets sacked for the loss. The quarterback came out of nowhere. Where's the hot read? You gotta have a hot read when the corner is coming on a blitz. Coach, I don't even think the quarterback knew he was blitzing. Fourth and long. The Wildcats line up the punt. Cornelius will be the return man. Number 38 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Cornelius fields it at the 50. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. The offense will take over at the 48-yard line. First and 10. Nickel defense. The running back has it. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole right, line down there. Ten. Yo, ball on the second down. yard line. The Gators are lining up with three receivers. Win gets another carry. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Not much help from his blockers, and he's only able to gain a yard. Third it's nine. third and nine. Ball on the 47. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Leak drops back to pass, throws back across field, catches it, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 39. Good completion there but they still didn't get the yards they needed for the first down. Yeah, it's tough to get the yardage you're looking for on those third and long situations. Everyone knows the pass is coming. So the defense just one. sits back Ball and waits to make the nine yard line. line. Looks like they're gonna punt it away here. Yeah. Wilbur awaits the snap. Cut. Punts the ball away. Roland signals for a fair catch. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. First down, 10 yards to go. The Wildcats come out in the wishbone. Russell, hands off. At the 40. And he's all the way down to the 45-yard line. And that was an outstanding run by that young man. Brad, you're exactly right. The ball carrier is able to break through the secondary without much resistance at all. First, First and 10. ten. Ball, ball on the 45-yard line. Yard line. Smith gets another handoff. Tackle at the 50-yard line. Smith picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up second down. Second it's second and five. and five here. Ball on the 50. On the goose. On the goose. Hot. And they'll run him again. Moss brings him down for a loss. Taken back a yard. Third We've got a third six. and six. Ball, Ball on, on their 49 own 49 yard line. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. Moves up in the pocket. And they couldn't hook up on that one. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here, the quarterback just overshot. Just to fourth and six. Ball Looks like the they're going to put it away here. Line. Number 38 is waiting for the snap. Number 38 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Calls for the fair catch. Well, you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the, the ball? Yard they had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. The They'll Florida take over Gators at the 25. At the 25-yard line. First and 10. The Gators come out in the shotgun. The running back has it. Drives to Juke. Roland with the tackle at the 36-yard line. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? <laughs> a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right first now. And ten. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. <laughs> Win on the run. Shifty move there. Sheds that one. At the 40. Down the sideline. To the 20. He's all the way down to the five-yard line. Tremendous run right there. And coaches just love it when they can run the football like that. It opens up so much more of your offense. First Here we goal. go from the five-yard five line. Yard line. They've got about 100 yeah. tight ends in there for this goal line play. Leak unloads. And it's complete for the touchdown. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one might be coming back. Here it is. Holding, Holding. on the Hold offense. 10-yard penalty. Still well, down. the defense survived a scare that time. Well, if it wasn't for the penalty, the offense wouldn't have been able to get in the end zone anyways. I know, Coach, but it's always hard to watch points come off the board. They're inside the 20. Ball on the 15-yard line. Leak lines up in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. They'll knock him down for a loss. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and goal. Ball on the 18-yard line. Leak 
with three wide receivers. Someone got a hand on it. Harvin was the complete. intended receiver on the play. The That'll make it third down. On the play. From the 18-yard line. Ball on the 18-yard line. Florida comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. He steps up. Here they come. And they got him. How about that blitz, guys? Well, this is the play they like to call sometimes in this situation. The corner blitz. Here, the offense didn't do a very good job of picking it up. Yeah, you're right, Coach. It's hard to tell sometimes where that pressure is coming from. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The ball's on the 23, so this will be about a 40-yarder. Well, we've played one quarter, and we're still all locked up. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Fourth down, the goal. and they'll attempt the field goal. This one is from about 40 yards out. This will make it a field goal game. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. He had no problem splitting the uprights with that one, Kirk. Yeah, that one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Florida, Florida gets set to kick this one away. Kickoff. Number five, and Summers back deep to return. He sends it off. Number five takes it from the six. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job. Here. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coach. Smith is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Russell with the gear. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. From their own 37-yard line. Second down and five. Taken down at the 37. Right. They line up at the five. 37. Ball Third and five coming up. Seven yard line. Russell drops back. He looks, throws it. Almost intercepted. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Fourth and five. The punter comes Ball on the on field, the getting ready to send one off. Cornelius, back deep to return. Number 38, punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Cornelius fields it at the 37. A scoring one. drive the last time out for this offense. And they'll huddle up for this drive. They'll, they'll start this drive at the 40. Florida sets up with four receivers. Leak drops back on first down. That's a live ball. Picks up the loose ball. He's got some blockers. The 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. Scoop and score. I love it. It's not that often that these guys get a chance to get into the end zone. So this is a very special touchdown. He might want to keep that ball. That one's for the coach. They line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, Bethune-Cookman, seven, Florida, three. Everyone's all lined up 
up and ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Number four takes it at the 23. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They'll take they line over up at the 46 yard line. First down. Florida comes out in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. Throws it to the outside. And down he goes at the 47 yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They Second line up at the 47. Three. Second and three coming up. Dead. They'll spread the field with five wide. Drops back to pass. Stepping up. Slings it. They can't connect. The incomplete. incomplete. He put a little something extra on that throw, and the receiver mishandled it. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. Third it's third and, and three. three. Ball, Ball 47. 47 yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. The counter. Huge. Brings him down for a loss. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. Fourth and four. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Roland is back deep to return the punt. Number 35. Gets it away. Wait a minute. He's going to throw. Batted ball. And it's picked off from the tip. I don't think that one worked the way it was playing. No, they rolled the dice here, but the up man just couldn't get the ball to the first down marker. The They'll start at the 39-yard line. Over at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Smith on the give. Moss tackles him for a loss on the play. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Second they line up at the 37. Ball on the it's 37 second down. yard line. Smith gets another carry. Joiner with a takedown at the 42. Smith picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up third down. Third and seven. third down. to him before he could get back to the line. Florida will take their first time out of the half. Great. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Dead. Number 38 awaits the snap. Hunt. Number 38 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Cornelius takes it at the 33. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 37 yard line. First and 10. The Gators line up with four wideouts. Moves up in the pocket. Leak unloads. Finds his receiver down the sideline. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. First From the 28-yard line. On the 20 First down. Yard line. 
back in the gun. And he's tackled at the 26. Win picks up two yards with a carry. Second it's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. This defense is in the dime. Steps up in the pocket. He throws left. His receiver has it. Number eight, he made a right nice play down. to keep his foot in bounds there, guys. I was surprised he was able to come down with that catch. Yeah, when the ball was thrown, I thought the only person who was going to have a shot at it was one of the onlookers on the sideline. But I really credit this guy for making a fine catch. Line. First and goal. Ball They're in the red zone. The defense lines up with six DBs. Hot hot, hot hot. He drops it back. Throws this one out to the left. Touchdown! And so he found his receiver for the score. The closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. They did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Florida to the kick this one off. The kick off. Decent kick. Number five takes it at the four. Broke away from one. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. They were forced in on three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He lets it fly. Got it. He's all the way down to the 50-yard line. Bethune-Cookman calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. First, First down, down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Dead. From the gun. Hot. Look at the throw. He steps up. Short toss. He snags it. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Bethune-Cookman will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Wildcats line up with two tight ends. He lets it go. He gets another, and this is a big one. And a big catch by the tight end. Yeah, that was big. And I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. Let's see, did one of the linemen move first? Offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. First, first down and five to go. The Not threatening yard. inside the 20. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. And he's going to be sacked for a loss.
fire! The Wildcat. Come out in a shotgun. He's looking. He's looking for his man. Has it to the senior. Nelson tackles him at the nine-yard line. There's a player injured down on the field. I can't see who it is. Thune Cookman will take a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Hey. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Yeah. Ah. It's up, and it splits the uprights. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. one away short kick he didn't get a hold of that one Lewis takes it at the 20 and we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlock And we're just about set to get things underway here in the second half. Kicks it away. Arvin fields it at the 22. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. On the return. They'll set up shot at the 36 yard line. First and 10. Leak lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He fires. And it's incomplete. incomplete Overthrew pass. his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. They second line up at the 36. It's second down and 10 to go. Leak lines up with four wideouts. Leak back to throw. Looks. He passes it. And that one's incomplete. That would have been a top catch for the wide receiver. The intended receiver on the play. Third down and ten coming up. Ball of their own 36. 36-yard line. Four wide. Back to throw. Throw. Got it to the senior. He's taken down at the 46. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and first the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. Leak comes to the line with three wide. Swings it out to his man on the screen. Tries to juke. And he's taken down at the 28. They call a receiver's number on the screen pass, and it results in a new set of downs. Yo, that play caught the defense totally off guard. By the time they realized what was going on, it was too late, because the big fellas in the old line were smashing into people downfield. Yeah, and the D better get Ball ready out there, because the last thing you want to see as a coach is your secondary taking on blocks by 300 pounds. Win on the handoff. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. That's a good nine-yard gain. Great. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. 
Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. He rolls left, lets it go. It's complete. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. We'll see what First they can do goal. in the red zone. Ball on the 10-yard line. Leak with three wide receivers. Slips it short. He snags it. Williams with the tackle at the nine. They get only a yard from the pass play. Second it's and second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Play fake, throws it, touchdown, Florida. What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation, and that's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I'd bring lots of notebook paper to this young man's games. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is Florida 17, Bethune-Cookman 10. Looks ready to kick this one off. Number five. He sends it off. Number five from his own end zone. Ball came free. Home. Falls on the fumble. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. First, first down, 10 to go. They're inside the 20. The Wildcats bring in the nickel package. Leak on first down. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Cornelius was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Leak flips it out. Tackle made at the 18. Win picks up two yards with a carry. Third, Third down. down. Ball on the 18-yard line. Florida sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. Has time. To the end zone. Hits his man in stride. That one worked pretty well. Okay, it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. First, First and goal. goal. Ball They're in the red zone. Back with a carry. King with a takedown at the two. Win gains about five yards on the run. Second, Second down, goal. goal to go. Ball on the, All two, on the two, yard two yard line. line. They're packed in tight on the line. They hand it off. He jukes. Touchdown, Florida. The halfback ran it in for the touchdown. I'd give this guy the ball every time there's a short yarded situation. He's money. You mean he's an ATM, automatic touchdown machine. Where do you come up with these? They just come to me, my friend. 
They'll line up for the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Lined kick. up for the kickoff. Number five, back to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Number five from his own end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. take a hit a pickup of about three second they line up at the 23 on the 20 it's second down they keep it on the ground with the tailback great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf Third it's third and seven. And seven. Ball, Ball on the 23-yard line. Yard line. The Wildcats come out of the power eye. Hot. Russell with the play fake, flips it, and it's caught, and he is drilled at the 27-yard line. So they'll go three and out. That was a solid series by that defense. They really, ah, stuck it to him. Fourth and three. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Number 38 is waiting for the snap. Didn't get all of that one. Cornelius fields it at the 46. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll the offense over will take over at the 46. Line. First and 10. Yeah. Leak comes to the line with three wide. Yeah. Drop back to pass. Stepping up. He unloads it. Caught. And down he goes at the 49. They couldn't get much out of that one. I loved how that defense just swarmed to the ball the second it was thrown. Second, Second down, seven, seven yards to go. 49 yards right around midfield. <laughs> Setting up the play action. Throws down the middle. Almost Incomplete intercepted. Pass. Number 35. Yo, kid, the you don't get too many opportunities like that. Coach, the safety made a great read on the play. He just forgot one thing. What's that? The ball. Third, Third down, seven. seven yards to go. Ball on the 49. Defense, defense, defense. Look for this quarterback to make a play here. Defense. Leak steps back to pass. Fires deep down the left side. This the one is incomplete. incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays Fourth like this. Ball on the they come out in a punt formation. Wilbur awaits the snap. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number five fields it at the 18. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. This drive will start at the 21-yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats line up in an I formation. 
Russell gives it up the middle. Tackle at the 23. That'll be a two-yard gain. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Florida 24, Bethune-Cookman 10. From their own 23-yard line, on the 20 second and eight. It on the inside. Everett with the tackle at the 28-yard line. Smith picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up third down. Third From their own 28-yard line. It's third down. Spin move. He's taken down at the 28. They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just Four didn't execute. Bethune-Cookman lining up the punt. Number 38 is waiting for the snap. It's away. Short punt. Cornelius takes it at the 45. It's a little late in the game to be punting with a two-possession deficit, don't you think, Coach? I think so, but this coach has a lot of faith in his defense. The problem is that he needs his offense to step up and put points on the board. And they can't do that when they're catching wind on the bench. They'll start the drive. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 45. High formation here. Hit off on the counter. Wilson gets in the backfield for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Second We've got a second 14. and 14. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Gators line up with five receivers. He looks. He's going to air it long. And he got it. Touchdown, Florida. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double-team him. And they're lining up for the PAT. And he converts the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Looks like they're ready Florida for the kick. He is lined up for the kickoff. Number five. He kicks it off. Number five fields it at the two. Yo, kick the defense return. really stepped up to force that three Number and out on the last Ball drive. Return. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Bethune Cookman going with a wishbone here. There's a missed tackle, and they make the stop at the 24 yard line. Smith gains around three yards on the run. They line up at the 24. It's second down and seven to go. Russell drops to throw. He lets it go. And it's the senior. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Right. 
Third from their own 29-yard line. On the 29 it's third down. Line. They're lining up in the 5-2. He throws it. Incomplete. That's not a bad decision right there. He's just got to give his man a shot at catching it. Yep. He put a little bit too much on that pass. Fourth and fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. First and 10. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Make the move. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Win. Get six yards on the play, so that'll make it second down. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. with the gear. Williams brings him down at the 19. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third they line up at the 19. Ball on the Here's third down. Yard Four yards to go. The ball carrier, and he has room to rumble. Touchdown, Gators. The fullback got loose and found the end zone. Look at the big fella. He could do a lot more than just block out there. They line up for the point after. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. Florida. Number five, and Summers off. back ready to return. And it's off. Number five fields it in the end zone. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coca-Cola. Bethune-Cookman comes out in the shotgun. Russell, options left. Fumble! They'll wrestle him down fumble in the backfield. The Are you kidding me? The they offense. recover the fumble, but man, oh man, was that a close call. Mmm, hmm. ugly. That's about as ugly as an option can look. Well, it certainly wasn't pretty, that's for sure. But like Brad said, they recovered the football. It's part of the pass now, so they just need to forget about it and focus on their next play. Demp brings him down for a loss. Bethune-Cookman will call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. They're deep in their own territory. Russell drops back to pass. 
He throws it. The ball is tipped. Ball it looked like point. the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. I don't know how you could miss him. He's huge, and he came up with a very, very nice play. Hey. Fourth Four and long. The Wildcats ball. line up the punt. Number 38 awaits the snap. Number 38 punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Cornelius takes it at the 33. The offense comes out on the field once again. And it'll be interesting to see if this defense has made any adjustments to stop this running game. Because they sure couldn't stop them from going down the field and scoring on that last drive. They'll take, take over, over at the 30-yard line. line. They line up First in an eye. Set. The gives to the fullback. Tackle made at the 26. Four yards on that play. Second it's second seven. down, six yards Ball to go. On the 26 Ball on the 26-yard 26 line. Yard line. The Gators go with the I formation. Set. Moore gets it on the counter left. Good open field tackle. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15 yard penalty. First down. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. And they'll play it safe and take a knee. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating in this one. Bethune-Cookman knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Well, folks, we thank you for joining us in this production of NCAA Football 2007. Our final score in this...